Today, the Mercury Marine destination takes us up to Bisco Tasing in Northern Ontario. Richie's End of Trail Lodge on Lake Bisco Tassie is our destination today. Joining Charlie is owner Brian Drysdale and his buddy Mumbo. This drive to the lake is easy to get to. Bring your own boat or use one from the lodge. Enjoy private docks and big comfortable ruby cabins with all the amenities of home. Fully stocked with supplies, all you have to do is enjoy the easy fishing. Walleye after walleye is what this place is all about. If you're looking for a fish fix, walleye on Bisco Tassie this week on Fishful Thinking. Fishful Thinking is brought to you by Mercury Marine, Crestliner Boats, Hummingbird Fish Finders with Mega Side Imaging, and the most luxurious truck in its class, the all-new 2019 Ram 1500, introducing the most capable Ram ever. Water conditions are brought to you by Water Depot. Water at its best by your water treatment specialists. Large open waterways can blow up fast, but you can be more comfortable. Smooth out your ride with Smooth Moves seat mounts. Uh, Brian, I know you said the water's high. Are we gonna fit under that drain bridge? Uh, yeah, we can fit under mumble duck. You can duck. Uh, oh, the, what about the talon? Oh, because that's that's that 15 foot talon. Mm, you know yeah, what? Yeah, we should take it down just to be on the safe I, side. This is something they have that I'm glad I put on it. They've got a tilt bracket on this now. Real easy. Click. Uh, that's pretty spiffy. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's got a little kickstand too, but I'll just sit that on the back of the seat since this is quick. But yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's nice and easy, eh? That's actually quite low. I don't think we would have fit if that was fixed permanently. Why don't you stand up and we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you're gonna brain your dog if he doesn't duck. <laughs> mumbo like mumbo ducks. Duck mumbo. Yeah, we would have hit Brian, look at this. Yeah, I think it would have clipped it. Absolutely that yeah. would have hit. Wow, I'm so glad I put that on. That's a nice feature for sure. Isn't it? Because yeah. I, I, you know, I'm going to be using this for bass fishing too, and I know there is going to be times where I'm going through culverts and things like that. So yeah, lucky you thought oh, about it too. Oh yeah, our hot spot would not be touchable. Oh yeah, we would have touched. We would have, wouldn't have we? Yeah. There we go. We Tug a nice. Let me grab the net, Brian. That oh. looks like a decent yeah, fish. Yeah, it looks like a decent one. You remember this net from last year? Yeah. The good old EGO. Slide it right out. Feisty. Yeah. There we go. I'll give you the honors. Oh, yeah, you can go ahead and grab them there. Nice little fish. Yeah. Oh, let's get out of the shade there. Look at that beautiful color on that. Yeah. Oh yeah, he took he took that completely, didn't he? He did. Oh, let me get the autopilot off here. Oh, you love that smell of walleye in he the water. He wasn't going anywhere. No, no. Pretty fish. Oh, look like it hammered it. And he did too. Yeah. Good there start. Go. Good start. Yeah, a little smaller than yours, Brian. Let me see if I can just no, haul him in. Go. You just got stolen, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, we almost had a double there. Well, they're starting to hit because that's that was getting down the throat pretty good. All these spots, a little bit of all it takes is a little bit of wind starting on them, doesn't it? Yeah. A little bit of wind and they they liven right up. And then this darker water, it's amazing how shallow these fish actually will stay at times. That's not bad. A little deeper yet? Oh, that's a, that's a good that's one, Brian. Nice fish, yeah. He doesn't like your net. No, <laughs> well, he's not done yet. There we go. There's a dandy. There's a nice fish, eh? That's a nice one. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna put my glove.
gloves on before I get cut up. Ow. Like that. Nice, and he's fat too. Really nice one. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah he's he's a blue. There's yeah. a blue in the fin there. Yeah. Everybody worries about getting stabbed by these. It's that. It's this is <laughs> yeah. razor Big sharp. Gill plate. Yeah. 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 Nice fish, Brian. That's a good one. Thanks, man. Yeah. A little deeper than we were up top on that rock that time. Yeah, I think I was to the right of it there. When yeah. I, I tipped that out. Beautiful. We'll mark that on the fish finder so we don't lose track. Oh, there's that rock right there, so you're just out. Yeah, here. Nice. Staying down, eh? The wall, I think. Yeah, I think it is, too. Looks like a nice one. Yeah, Maybe yeah they're 17, feisty. 18. Wow, this drag is smooth. I mean, while I have a bony mouth, but if you don't get it in the right spot, it's just it yeah. just tears out like tissue. Oh, he's a nice one. Nice, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, oh, that's a nice fat one, too. That's a chubby. Oh, yeah, there's a nice fish. Good old mustad jig. Beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah. Give him a little tickle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like, like you were saying earlier, Brian, you're like, hey, I don't have to poke out the holes on these jigs. Oh, those mustad jigs are awesome. They're already, yeah. you don't have to worry about the paint around the eyelet, and they're yeah. ultra point hooks, so they're sticky, sticky, sharp, no no cheap Beautiful, little hooks. Yeah. So they cost a little bit more, but why not get a oh. premium hook? Well, you know, it's well worth it, especially, you know, you gotta spend, you spend, you're catching fish, and you gotta spend two or three minutes cleaning out the eye of the hook. Those mustads are awesome. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. Well, and then you gotta sharp the, sharpen the hook of a cheap one, too, right? Yes. And yeah. I don't know how many rocks I've hit and fish I've caught on this. And look at that, it's still just touch skin that yeah. sticks. Yeah. Awesome. Fun little fishery yeah. here, Brian. It's nice, eh? Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, even for a calm, calm day like this, I mean, we had to find the spot, but, uh, you know, a catching walleye, calm water is, is pretty tough sometimes. Yeah. I don't know, it's just going to get better during the day. Absolutely. We haven't even had the night bite yet. Yeah, evening, night. evening, yeah. evening. I know, walleye, evening. It's all you've been talking about evening. is night. <laughs> well, I remember <laughs> last year, the evening was so much fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You catch these and enjoy what you can at night, they're just double headers. Yeah, for sure. Closed captioning is brought to you by Mercury. Power and dependability you can count on. Before every trip, I try to do as much as I can ahead of time so I can get on the water fishing faster. Pre-doing my leaders, pre-rigging my rods. It doesn't help if by the time you get to your fishing spot, you have damaged equipment. When I do my leaders, I take the time to protect them. I just don't throw them in the bottom of a bag. My rods, if you're gonna pre-rig your rods, make sure you protect your rods and your lines from travel vibration and nicks. That way, there's no surprises when you set that hook. Email or write Fishful Thinking and simply mention this maintenance tip of the week for your chance to win one of 10 tackle packs, including a chance to win one of two mega packs. Conditions today are brought to you by Davlin, Weathermaster Boat Awning Systems. We have you covered. And if you didn't have a silky drag, I'm starting to think Pike. Yeah. You no, it's a walleye. No, it's a walleye. Not that big, though. No. no. Nice fish, though. No, take them all. You can't see them. I can't see them. <laughs> He's in. You got him? Yeah. Oh, he's decent. Nothing wrong with that? No. Nope. Lean, mean fighting machine. It's cold water. They're very aggressive. They fight yeah. hard. In the warm water, the walleye usually just turn their belly up and give up. These yeah. dark water walleye, they, uh, they fight pretty good. 
There he is. That was up shallow, Brian. No, I know. Uh, I ate it really shallow. You know what? That's going to be the end of her walleye bite here. Oh, look at My oh, pike. Is yeah. that a pike? Yeah, it was a pike. That's why I said that's going to be the end of the walleye bite here. He, uh, Mr. Pikey showing up. He was big. He was not bad. And any time I've had a pike, I'm going to cut off a chunk of that leader and get rid of yeah. the smell of pike. Because the walleye can smell that on your line, too. OK, you do that, and I'll catch another walleye. I'm down for a few minutes. Okay, I'm just going to retie here. Brian, we did this last year. Instead of using swivels, because the swivels, especially in the snag infested areas where these walleye are hanging out, the swivel gets caught. And yeah. then half the time, that's what you're snagging. Yeah. So remember that double uni knot? Yeah. 15 pound seaguar. And a double uni knot is so great for attaching your braid to the fluorocarbon. Just peel off a little bit, double up the line, lay it against each other. You make a loop, and inside that loop, wrap it five, six, seven times. The thinner the line, the more loops you're going to want. And the cigar smackdown is so thin, I'm just going to keep turning that. Tighten that up. That's going to make a knot right there on one side. Now you turn it around the other way. Now I'm going to do the fluorocarbon side. Same thing, loop against the line, round, 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 and round. Grab the tag end, tighten it. You got a knot on that end. I always wet that now, just so I avoid friction. And those two knots are just going to slide together and form a perfect little joint of leader and braid. And you can trim that so close, it's not going to scare the fish. And it's not going to hang up in those those rocks. I mean, if had, even a small swivel would be so much bigger than that would catch. And this you can actually, and I, I know you're doing this all the time, Brian. You're winding this right into the guides and casting it out so the knot's not hanging up on you. That's right. It just shoots right through. Yeah. So trim that nice and tight. Now, a question there, Charlie. When you're doing uh, your first knot, are you using the braid or are you using uh, the mono when you do both knots? Doesn't matter which way you start. Doesn't matter. Okay. No, because you're doing one one way and then one the other. And you can trim that nice and tight like that and then adjust your leader for whatever size you want. But great to avoid um, putting a swivel on the line if it's really clear conditions and it'll spook a fish. Or like us, we don't want it snagging in the rocks. We're yeah. having enough trouble keeping the jigs out. <laughs> we don't want the swivels hanging That's up. That's right. Perfect. Did you spot fish. lock? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that's a nice walleye. There we go. There's, There's a, a nice fish. Hey. It's a real dandy. I even saved your bait there, Brian. Nice. Need the pliers on him, or he? Um, yeah, I think, I think he's gonna come out. Isn't that just a sweetheart? Be, yeah. Wow. Yeah, something's got him, something whacked him across the head there, Brian. I know you got big pike uh, in here. Goiter or something. Oh yeah, it's, that's yeah. kind of fresh too. Yeah, is his, is his dorsal fin beat up a little better? No, mm. no. Nice fish though. Yeah. Beautiful walleye, good one. Okay, we'll uh, go back through those humps again, that's for sure. to mark these humps when you find them. We just yeah. put that side imaging on. And it shows, I'll show you exactly what we did in a minute here. Nice one, Brian. Look at, look what he's coughing up. Oh. Same size, match that's, the hatch. That's my other minnow, I think, isn't it? I don't know, but look at that. 
you want to match the size that they're feeding on. And that's exactly what he coughed up. And that's kind of what we're using. Nothing too big, nothing too small. They bit me. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Nice one. That's a good average, nice, better than average size. Yeah, that's great. That's <laughs> probably about 18. Yeah. Close to it. Yeah. 18 inches, so a little over a pound and a half. Yeah, beautiful Just... fish. All righty. We've, uh, we, we've put the mega side imaging on. We've went off to the, we've trolled through this area. We found our humps. We went back into our spots here, and you can see right here, we went and marked them and marked them and marked them. And now we've set up a drift line right through where we've noticed on that side imaging with that mega imaging where those big humps were. And we've just set up a drift going through here. And there you go. Better than average size fish, Brian, when you find the right structure. Yeah. Yeah. And we're having trouble finding that, so we just did a troll through here with that mega imaging on, and it showed up that structure so beautifully off to the sides, the humps, the rocks. What do you think about this boat? It's 1850 Pro Tiller. I love it. I love this it's, boat. It's uh, this size of a boat, a big casting deck. Yeah. I've got the awesome Talon on deck. the back. I've got the Altera on the front. I've got a kicker, the Pro Kicker 15 on the back. It's just this size of a boat without the windshield in it. you got so much fishable room. More room for sure without the windshield. Yeah. And I was surprised how well uh, that motor is to handle with, you know, a 90 tiller. Hydraulic. Oh, Oh, beautiful. it's just nice, yeah. 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 You can move it with one finger. Yeah. It's a great fishable boat. Yeah. Um, I love the big platform. A lot of people don't think about like a 90 tiller in a big open tiller boat, but yeah, it's a 94 inch beam, live well. You know, you got full rod locker still in here. Lots of room, lots of storage. Uh, Beautiful. I'm gonna have fun with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need another minnow. Here he comes. Oh, he got you with the minnow. Yeah, he, got, he saved your minnow. Jeez, he just inhaled this guy. Good, 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 good. Got into a nice spot. Oh, yeah. They're going to move up on this little point. There you go. I mean, it's so predictable in the evening. You've got deeper water out here. You've got shoals and points, and they're just going to come up and feed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just getting yourself in the right position and being patient, waiting for the fish to come to you. Because half the time, those fish, when they're sitting in that deep water, they, they don't want to feed. They feed when they come up in the shallows. Up goes EG on that. There we go. Oh, trying to get yeah, me. Watch that kill plate. <laughs> I'd rather grab them like that. Nice fish, Brian. Yeah. Perfect too, yeah. They're just such nice walleye. You want a net man there? Oh, yeah, please. Don't know. Nice little fish. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Avoid the sharp spots. Another nice little walleye. They're so pretty. So cooperative. <laughs> That's the fun part. Did you say you had a group that caught how many in three days? They, uh, they caught 86 the one day, and they were in for four days. I think they were, uh, I think there were over 160 fish in four days. That's fantastic. Just the walleye, yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Fishful Thinking is brought to you by Crestliner Boats, Mercury Marine, Minkota Talon Anchoring System. And the most luxurious truck in its class, the all new 2019 Ram 1500, introducing the most capable Ram ever. Tackle today Daiwa Light and Tough LT Spinning Reels. 
Seaguar Smackdown Tournament braided lines in 20 pound test. Must add ultra point jig heads in both 1 8 ounce and 1 quarter ounce sizes. Seaguar 15 pound test 100% fluorocarbon leader material. The Minn Kota Talon anchoring system with built in work light. Smooth moves air, shock absorbing seat bases. The Minn Kota Altera with spot lock and auto stow and deploy features. Mercury 90 with big tiller handle and 15 horsepower pro kicker motor. The welded Questliner 1850 pro tiller with 94 inch beam. And the Ram 1500 with 5.7 liter Hemi engine. Richie's End of Trail Lodge in Bisco Tasing, Ontario. Fully stocked private cabins with all scenic water views and vast numbers of fun cooperative walleye. Where are we at here? Oh, I'll spin them, Brandon. I'll spin them. Golly, that's a nice one, sir. It's not hooked, it's not hooked good. Let's get them this time. <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> now we're talking, man. <laughs> That is a tank! <laughs> <laughs>